I understand there is so much going on in the world right now and what I want to do is just simply offer up some motivation, some encouragement uh, for you on your journey as you continue um, just to move forward in life. One of the things that I learned is that even in my own journey and some of the people who I get to coach, uh, things that have stopped them from progressing and moving forward are limiting beliefs. So a limiting belief is just something like a story that we make up that constrains us from being able to move forward or to progress. So it's a thought in our mind, it's a story that we make up that either tells us we're not good enough, we can't have it, or we just have this belief that this is the way it is. For me, I was named after a hero. My real name is Nikisha Price, um, but I inherited the name Nikki from an uncle that I had. So his name was Lee Croft Morrison, and they used to call him Nikki. He was in Jamaica, he was traveling with a friend and they were in a car, so it was three of them. One was driving, he was the passenger and there was one other person in the car with them. He had never met the person in his life. This was their first encounter with each other in this car. And for some reason, uh, they got into a really bad car accident. The car veered off on the side of the road and um, it was like really, really bad. It was a really bad car accident. The driver got out of the, out of the car. For some reason, he ended up like leaving the scene, like leaving my uncle, leaving his friend. And my uncle gets out of the car and some people came off to help them out. And he did not even notice because he was like trying to get out of the car and making sure he wasn't hurt. He did not notice that the other guy who he just met a couple hours ago was still stuck in the car. So the guy ends up screaming out saying he needs help. So my uncle immediately, being the hero that he is, he went into that car to try to take the guy out of the car. And when he did that, a little while after the car blew up. Now, it wasn't an explosion where everything was like blown to smithereens, but a fire started in the car, a part of the car did blow up. Because of that, um, my uncle ended up suffering from third degree burns from his um, knees down. And the guy who he was going into the car to save was literally burnt from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. So from the top and bottom, he suffered third degree burns. And so, um, unfortunately, when they went to the hospital, um, the guy who my uncle went to save passed away the next day from the, um, the burns. And uh, my uncle, my uncle Nicky, he survived for an entire year. So at the time when this happened though in Jamaica, they didn't have the proper technology or the resources to be able to support uh, a third degree burn victim. So he suffered greatly, 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 greatly for an entire year with those burns. He was in and out of the hospital, um, but he did survive for a year. After the year was up, he had passed away because the burns were just too severe and um, he didn't make it through that. However, my mother decided to when I was born, of course, because I didn't get to meet him, but I learned this story from my family. And my mother told me that she named me Nikki to remember him. And so because she named me Nikki, I carry the value, the weight of that name. I carry the um, integrity and power of such a beautiful, heroic person. And one of my top goals is to wear this name with um, pride, with a sense of integrity, with a sense of uh, responsibility to know that my uncle literally spared and saved someone else's life while risking his own. So for me in my life, I will do whatever it takes to eliminate suffering, eliminate somebody else from feeling down, from feeling bad, and to create a positive impact in this world. And I feel like I inherited that same belief and that same integrity from my uncle Nikki. So I was inspired by an influencer online to go and look up the definition of my name. I think it was Tiffany Montgomery at the time and she talked about defining our names. And so when I went to look at my name, my name meant victory. So that means that I will literally overcome any situation in my life. Anything that happens, I will always overcome it. So I want you to think about yourself. A lot of times we allow these limiting beliefs to stop us from pursuing the things we really have in our heart to pursue. When at the end of the day, you have to know who you are. So I wanna encourage you, number one, to go and look up your name 
and look at the definition of your name and see what it means and see the name that you're carrying. These are the things that people are calling you every day. So when people say Nikki, they're calling me victory. They're really calling me victorious. And I just think about that all the time. Anytime I'm in a situation, I remember that I will always come out on top. I will always have the upper hand and I will always win. So I want you to define your name and think of the name that you carry. On top of that, I want you to remember who you are, even in this situation. I want you to choose yourself first. I want you to take a moment to be self-aware and self-reflect on who you really are. What does your name mean? What I really want for you is for you to be able to stand in your power, to remember that you carry greatness everywhere you go. Number one, because you are a child of God, you carry that with you. So no matter what happens in your life, you can always remember who you are and whose you are. You have to remember that because in life, things are going to happen that will make you feel like, I don't even know if I can make it through this. But if you remember who you are and remember the place and the seat and the position that you stand in, you'll always remember how important you are and the greatness that you have to offer to this world. So don't ever forget it. So think about your name, remember who you are. So it's important guys that we get to remember that we need to stand in our place. We need to serve other people, be the leaders that God has called us to be and get out there and remember who you are. And at the end of the day, you can always remember that just like my uncle Nikki, you can be a hero too.